Hey there, I'm your host Lissawi, and in today's video I'll show you how to regenerate some health by overlapping with a potion. So it's going to look like this, and let's begin. Okay, before we begin, at the very beginning, the potion you saw, I'll link it down below, so if you want to use it, you can. And then let's go into our content drawer, and over here I will create a new folder, and this is going to be called Potions. Then inside of here, I will import my downloaded potion, which is this. And I want to leave it as it is and say import all. Then once that's done, let's just save this real quick. Right click and create a blueprint class. And this is going to be an actor. And this will be our potion. So I'll call it health potion. And uh, we actually don't want to go inside because we need to create a function inside of our character. And this function will heal our player. So let's go to the third person character and create a plus in the functions tab. And this is going to be called health update. And then inside of this, we can create an input, which is going to be called health. And then the boolean can be either a integer or float, but I'm using floats, so let's stick to that. And then from this guy, we can do a plus. And we are adding our health. Then let's get a clamp. So we can go over maximum or min. And our max is going to be our max health. Then we can set our health at the very end. And then from there, we can get a return node. So this is pretty much done. We can leave this guy, compile, save, and we can close the character. Then let's go into our potion. If I find it right there. And let's create a static mesh. And this will be called Potion. And over here, I'm just going to select my static mesh. I'm happy with the color and everything, so that's all good. And then let's select the default scene route because I don't have an animation or something. I'm not picking it up. I'll simply just um, overlap with the collision box or sphere. So let me just get a sphere collision. And that's it. And I'll rename it Collision. And I'll give it. A radius of 60 let's be a little bit generous and then in the event graph simply let's right click here on the collision add on component begin overlap so when we overlap with this i want to cast to my third person character and the object is get player character and from here i want to call my function that we created. So I called it health update and then the health. So let's create a variable. And um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but uh, it's good practice and I'll call it health. So this will be a float. And of course, um, if I compile and save, you can have a set value here or you can set in game if you want, if you say instance editable. So I'll just set a value here. Let's say 25. And I can simply drag it in and connect it there. And after we overlap with the potion, we will heal, but the potion won't be destroyed. So after we heal, I want to print a string just so I know it did happen. And I'll say plus 25 health. And then from here, I want to destroy the actor. So let's just say destroy. And there we are. So if I compile and save and put the asset into my world, that's it there. And let's just get two of them. So if I say play, we have one there, one there. And if I overlap with the radius, I'll heal. And same with the other one, I'll heal. So that's it for the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.